All right, we're back. 1988 FJ62 Land Cruiser. I got the fender taped up because I've been working over here. Uh, had a rat's nest and uh, ate through a bunch of wires. So we repaired them all. You can see I used all these heat shrink connectors. Um, keeps a low profile, they're waterproof. You get a really good seal um, all the way through here. Probably about 20 to 30 repairs I had to do, several wires. You know, I used the same color wire, but they're not striped. You know, I don't have wire that's striped like the factory wires, but if it's a green wire, I use green. If it's red, I use red uh, best I could. And, uh, you know, you can see uh, down over here, several, you know, many, many, many of these were repaired. You can see them all right there. Put them back together, went to crank it. Crank, no start. So... What does that mean? Well, you need three things for any engine to run. You need air, spark, and fuel. So I was getting air um, and shot a little starting fluid in there, started up for a second and then died. So I knew the issue was no fuel and started troubleshooting from there. There's a diagnostic port right here. And I come over here. see there's a battery positive and an FP you jumper those the fuel pump came on engine fired right up so thought well it must be the fuel pump relay well Toyota calls it a cutout relay so that it basically cuts out fuel if the engine is not running so uh, looked it up turns out they had one in uh in town at one of the distribution centers went in there picked it up swapped it out it's in here it's one of the relays in here in the kick panel As you can see that's the old one no good circuit open relay eight five nine one zero one four zero two zero picked one up put it in there starts up like a champ now Okay, so today's task, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bundle, we're gonna bundle these wires up, nice and neat. I got some high temperature uh, resistant, high quality electrical tape. So we're gonna put this bundle back together. Okay, clean it all up. We're gonna put the air box back in it, uh, which I had to remove just to gain access here and um, and then move on to the next uh, move on to the next project if you guys like uh, looking at uh, FJ62 projects uh, like comment subscribe uh, destroy that uh, like button you know and uh, you'll see some more if you don't want to see uh, if you're not really interested in this don't worry about it uh, and I'll uh, I'll send it on its way and uh, sell it now that it's running. Um, just got it as a little project, so I think it's kind of a cool truck. I'd like to do some more videos on it. So let me know what you think. What should I do next? Should I LS swap it, and put a six liter and a four L eighty in it? Should I uh, keep the four liter three uh, FE engine? Should I uh, trans swap it and swap it over to five speed manual 114,000 original miles okay interior a little rough paint it's had a it's had a repaint um, and there's a few little minor issues you know we got a little bubbling here we got some rust repair and bondo down here you know Nothing that can't be fixed. Got a couple little rust holes sitting back here. Nothing bad. A little bit around the corner of the window seal. I mean, we can grind it out, weld it. You know, we have the capability to do all those repairs. You know, a little bit of rust repair down here in this quarter rocker. What do you guys think? Uh, but overall, in my opinion, pretty clean. 
pretty clean it's almost 30 years old 88 let's see 88 12 23 yeah 20 you know 26 years old something like that 25 math and public 25 years old you know these things some of them are rust buckets i don't really think this one's a rust bucket let's check out the uh let's check out the driver footwell see how bad it is not bad not bad at all you know you got some stuff going on down here we could put a you know we know we got fluid in it because it's leaking i think they all leaked a little bit you can get them to stop leaking but it's got a hundred some odd thousand miles on it but overall it's a real clean driver um and these are getting more and more desirable every year so you know somebody just used the high lift as the bumper but uh yeah i mean clean truck needs a few things let's put it back together and get it running